Welcome back to channel everyone my name is Prakash Mithani and in this video we are going to talk about how you can generate multiple copies of your SharePoint pages and rename them and provide title for them as well using Power Automate. So this is the automated process we want to follow because we have multiple pages that uh, we want to generate out of a page template. So this is my credit financial page which I've created as you can see it has a certain format and some data inside this one. I want to generate 20 copy of this one with a different name and with a different title as well. So for that I have created an excel sheet as you can see I have this company column I have this title column company column will be my page name and title column will be my page title. If I go inside my template I have a template ready here and I'll try to run a flow which I've already created. If I click on this create site pages run flow and if I refresh my page you can see there is uh, one page already created with the uh, cred.aspx and you can see inside the title changed as well cred financial data which is it is picking from here and all the data is intact even if I go to the folder I can see the data same for it will create multiple pages if I go any of the pages you can see it is following the same structure now first thing I will cancel this flow because it will create unnecessary pages in my this library I will delete these pages so that our library is clear and inside the template we only have one template and now we'll see how we can create that flow I'll go to my power automate try to create a instant cloud flow and uh, I will run this for a selected file and I'll name my flow as uh, create pages rename and uh, update title right now click on this for site this is uh, my com site I'll select uh, my site address and the library name if I click on the drop down I'm not getting the site page option here so what I'll do I'll go to my site pages I'm already there go to the library setting and in the top if you see list equal to we have to pick the address after equal to copy this one go to the enter custom value paste it here now remove some special character this percent uh, 7 days and this percent 7b is opening brackets this is our library id which we have provided and the next step what we're going to do is get file property get file properties select the site address again the same site library name again will be this uh, custom name of the library paste it here and ID will be the selected item ID and after that what we are going to do is Excel online for business list row present in table because we have to apply that uh, flow for these uh, company and title data and this is saved under my this source document library with the name of org data.excel as I mentioned you I have formatted this as in table because in power automate it accept the table format which is the mandatory column so that's why you have to format your excel into a table I'll select location my com site and document library where the excel resides that is a source file name is uh, org data.xlsx and table name is table 1 so once we have this one what we are going to do next is I'll go to control apply to each value of a list of item of this excel sheet and inside this one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform an action copy file this is SharePoint action and I will uh, select the site address again my 
com side file to copy which file we want to copy so you can see we have uh, this get file property and the identifier property will pick from here we want uh, this one because for copy item we need the identifier not the id one keep this in mind and the destination site address is same in our case so if you are copying from uh, uh, one site collection to another you can provide the another site collection name here if you want but in my case I'm doing for the same site collection so I will provide my current site address and where I want to copy these files is inside my site pages and if another file is already there I'm saying replace this because we do not want the duplicate data once this is done the next thing is we want to rename the file now for rename we are going to write uh, send HTTP request right that is uh, send HTTP request to SharePoint and in the site address I will select again the same site and method will be post and in the URI what we are going to put is I'll go to my site pages and uh, after my site if I select underscore API I've already selected this previously so underscore API then lists get by title we are getting the list name that is site page this is our this library and after the items and I've kept the item blanks if you have the ID you can put inside the item if I click on this one it will get all the item inside my site pages right so what I will do I will copy this one and paste it here right and as you can see in the site pages there is percent 20 which is for space just remove this one and inside the item what we are going to do is we have to perform one more step here before that that is get file property because once we have a data copied we have to get that file ID as well so I will uh, say my com site library name will be our again this library name the site page custom name right site page library custom name paste it here ID will be copy file item ID get it and in the URI what I'm gonna put is the get file property 2 which is this one and keep this one so we have the dynamic ID for each and every page that we are generating because uh, we are doing this inside apply to each so every time the ID will be changed here right and the header what you have to write is content type and application slash JSON semicolon O data equal to verbos right and next will be our if hyphen match will be star that means for all and x hyphen http method right and this will be patch so that says we are patching the data and the body itself will start with uh, curly braces inside the quotes double underscore meta data right colon curly braces again inside single quote type colon put single quote after that comma then we have to give a title so we will say single quote title colon keep the single code as it is we'll put the dynamic value later right 
and then there is one property file leave ref right colon let's code so inside this metadata we need uh, this type title and uh, file leave ref file leave ref will be our uh, site page name that we want to provide we can put the manual here as well because in our case we want to replicate this for uh, multiple uh, rows of excel so we'll put the dynamic value here and same for the title as well we, we already have a company or a title column in excel and for the type how you are going to get that is go to your uh, this uh, api section here which we have just talked about and uh, search here like uh, sp.data so you will see this term sp.data you have to copy this and this could be different for your each and every library so just search for this and get this data and once you have this go inside your uh, this single quotes and uh, paste it here and inside the title single quote we are going to provide the title of our list representing table the dynamic value and inside the file leaf ref we are going to provide uh, that is the company column data right so this will rename each and every page with the company column name and update the title with this one and uh, we'll save this one as you can see my library has only this page and if i go inside template i can uh, now start running my flow i'll go into automate and you will see create page rename and update title is automatically coming up here click on this one continue run flow now our flow should run if we go here got it you can see it's running and hopefully it will create pages for us as well this section is done now we go to our site pages refresh this one that is not able to create the page oh, there seems like some issue there I will cancel this flow and uh, I'll try to go inside to see if I had done some common mistakes here against my apply to is because we're getting this error URI okay I have not applied underscore here save this one again once it is saved I'll go to my site page try to delete this template which is created automatically and now go to the templates again refresh and run the same flow which is create pages and uh, this time it should uh, start working if I go inside it has a created template now it will rename it oh yeah it's a uh, renamed this time so that means uh, our flow is working fine if we go inside our flow it has started creating things for me and if I refresh this page you can see already there is two page if I click on this I get all the content which I'm looking for so now we'll refresh you can see all the pages has been created here if we go any of the pages like this digit insurance you can see that uh, the title is different here uh, and the name is different here right and for every uh, organization there is a different name that we have created so likewise you can uh, create a replica of your uh, site pages can rename them and can change their title as well using power automate so one thing to mention when you are writing this send http request to sharepoint try to write all these things manually right otherwise you may face uh, issues i will provide all this in my description i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching